hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today i want to discuss something with you that is very very important and to be of benefit to organization or to small businesses also and what we're discussing is six ways to grow a company as in six ways to grow a company as in if you pick each of those things out practically they build one way or the other contribute to your organization or contribute to your business now we'll start by asking some basic question which is where does real growth come from where does real growth come from could it be from innovation or could it be from something else as we proceed we'll find out where it actually comes from as we proceed now i will say that uh, understanding where real growth comes from is a first step towards generating it and it falls into six categories which we have classified as new process new experiences new features new customers new offerings and new models and choosing which way to grow should be deliberate and not haphazard because the innovation budgets are limited allocations of scarce resources should minimize risk and focus on the best bets it must be balanced for maximum return just as a retirement fund must be balanced between high and low risk rewards now the term innovation is frequently associated with geniuses who transform startup into gold mines and we are talking about like the next Google or the next Apple or the next Amazon with products that no one knew they actually needed. Now, private equity firms make hundreds of small bets on these startups, hoping that one will pay off and cover the rest. These bets on the next growth engine are frequently based on luck rather than insight which gives you an impression that insight is very, very important and it is the key thing when you are taking business decisions. Meanwhile, every company wishes to be as forward-thinking as these startups. Many companies invest in or purchase them. Unsure of what they might yield other than the maybe the just halo effect that they must have overpaid for. And this happens and it goes a long way in affecting their decision in investment going forward. Now we say that every corporation needs to grow year after year. So the term innovation has come to mean finding new ways to grow. As in really finding new ways to grow. However, understanding where real growth comes from is the first step towards generating it because that's what we mentioned and it cannot be overemphasized and this needed not to be overcomplicated for whatever reasons if you look at it critically now these six steps we are looking at them and bringing them together and trying to explain and give an example of what it looks like the first one we're going to talk about is new process now new process could mean cutting down your production and delivery costs it could mean to automate for efficiencies trim the fat in your supply chain or your manufacturing chain to ensure that wastage are cut off out of it or it could even be to use robots to sell same stuff at high margin now when you do this you have introduced a new process into your operations which will create more value for you as you proceed the next thing we're going to talk about is a new experience the new experience it means coming to sell more of the same product, maybe to the same customers or increase customer retention and share by connecting with them effectively. Now, the Apple Store experience, for example, is considered by so many people to be as compelling as the company's products. By implication, if you end walk into an Apple Store, the ambience and the kind of reception that you receive goes a long way in shaping your experience also and determine how you feel about that particular product. So the next thing we want to talk about also is the new, new features. New features talks about you can sell improved items to the same people. They are selling to the same people. 
you had enhancements that encourage additional purchase and every new phone released by apple for example comes with maybe probably better camera and some other better apps and better features to make it more interesting and make people to look forward to the next apple phone that is going to be released and another thing which is also a growth or a driver of growth is new customers you sell to new customers sell more of the same to new customers introduce the product to new markets with similar needs to your core or markets with different needs for apple it's about reaching the general public rather than just the design community so they look for new customers extent where to sell the products to. another thing which is key which is a driver of growth to business is new offering new offering when we talk about new offering it means you create new items to sell you create a new product not just improvements find new needs within the existing market to fill or invest in a new category or consider the own port for example or the ipod for example when you consider you should look at that apple keep coming up with new things to take care of new people new customers in new area so the next thing which is the last we want to talk about there is new models new models as in new models sell your products in a novel way rethink your marketing strategy by developing new revenue streams or you develop new channels or you create or, or, or you you or you develop new value creation methods this can be as simple as creating the maybe a subscription model or as a revolutionary apple's creation of uh, itunes the way apple came up with itunes which is like a new thing for a new uh, for a new uh, market for new people for new taste for people so this goes a long way in affecting how your business will grow or how it will not grow adopting any of these teas process will go a long way in affecting your business to summarize it we say that the success of small businesses and enterprises is said to be largely dependent on informal personal networks because no single actor has all the necessary resources they must be obtained from external actors such as suppliers banks government agencies and relatives now going forward we look at it that what we have mentioned specifically is new process we'll mention also new experiences We'll mention also new features, we'll mention new customers, new offerings, and new models. This goes a long way in helping your business. Thank you for watching. You will help someone today by clicking on like, clicking on share, and clicking on subscribe. The reference for the material is here. Thank you very much once again for watching.